for The Morning Show on XL7 TV. Welcome to The Morning Show on XL7 TV. I'm seven. Devin Stroud here with Scooter Scott Cali. Seven. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Seven. Seven. That's been our big thing this morning, seven. Seven. That's our number for the day, ladies and gentlemen. It's number seven. Seven. Seven's a lucky number. People it love is. the number seven. It is. I know, right? What's your favorite number? 23. 23 minus 27. Tw- so it's got seven in it. Ah! It's got seven in it. There you go. But yeah, See? My, my, my favorite number is 27. Cool. Do you have a, a reason behind the 23? Or I'm just yeah, curious. It's my birthday. Okay, well, that will do it. Yeah. That will do it. Yeah. Okay. And you see it everywhere when you start to think about it. Watch. You'll be, I don't know, walking into a business or driving down the road, and you'll see the number 23. Watching a movie, a TV show, uh, the hotel room's number 23. And you're like, but I think a lot of people, I, you know, you never know with a movie. You know, you see it, and the hotel room, it's could be your number. It's not always 23, but... Sometimes it you, is. You never know. Sometimes you never it know. Is. Sometimes it's, it's got to be number. a number. It could be yours. It could be your number. I mean, why not? But if you think about it hard enough, you're gonna see it. Because oh, my yeah. brother did. My my older brother Roy. He he's got a favorite number, and I can't even remember it now. But he always sees it. It's everywhere. And I'm like, yeah, because you're looking for it. Yeah. So. Well, today's favorite number is seven. Seven. Okay. We're and today on. is seven <laughs> eleven. And. It is. Yeah. I used to go to 7-Eleven when I was a kid. What would you get at 7-Eleven? They, they had, that. that's like a little gas station thing. You got this big gulp drinks well, yeah. and stuff when you That's what you yeah. get there, though? Yeah. Yeah, I know 7-Elevens. Yeah, okay. Yeah, California, yeah. they have a ton of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oklahoma, that's where we, 7-Elevens, and they had the big gulp drinks. That's the big gulp drinks, Those yep. slurp, slurpees, yep. or slurpees. whatever they call yep. them. Yeah, go and get the slurpees. Very nice. Yeah, get the brain freeze that comes from it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see? Yeah. See? It's real good. How did we get off on this? I'm this not morning? sure. <laughs> it's, we're just random. <laughs> we're just random. How have you Never, been? I have been good. It's been a, forever since you've been here. Right? Last Tuesday. Yes. Yes. Yeah. A week? A week. It's That's been forever. A week. Oh, but the week is forever. The week is forever. I know, right? I haven't seen my wife in a week. You were well, up? Well, tomorrow will be a week. Yeah, that's right. You're right. I was Why gone. Go? You, yeah, you were I was gone without her. Week. Yeah, I was gone. And then Sunday I got back, but she left before I got back to go to Hot Springs for a counselor's conference. Because school will be starting up for her next week. She goes back. Her summer vacation's yeah, over. Yeah. Some people think, not till August. Her but- vacation is while you were gone. <laughs> <laughs> Which my wife would say I had a vacation right. for my husband. Thank God. <laughs> well, you know, it's it's yeah, absence makes the heart grow fonder, you know. But right. three days max, I can be away from her, and we're gonna be on seven. Three days, three days max. My, my problem is because I I go out of town a lot with wrestling and different things that are going on, and mm-hmm. I don't sleep good without her there. Right. And I don't care. I mean, I can be at a hotel. I can sleep like a baby as long as she's. But when she's not there, it's just weird. It's just, it is. It's awkward. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, you put me in a hotel room and without my wife, and that's the that's the worst night's sleep I can get. Yeah. At home, I can make it through the night, but it's still it takes me a little bit to fall asleep. And just yeah, you wake comf- up. Comfort levels. You wake gone. up and you're like, they're not there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Good morning, Gigi. I haven't said God, that in a while. You haven't said that in a while. I haven't said that, and I wanted to say that. Okay. Good morning, Gigi. Good morning, Gigi. We hope you're having a wonderful morning. We do. We hope you have a wonderful day. A wonderful day. It's yes. supposed to be very pretty today. She deserves to have a wonderful day. Yeah. So. Well, everybody does. There you go. We hope you and everybody have a wonderful day. There should you we, go. Should we start the show? We probably should. Are we? We do have a guest that will be coming in here. Anyway. All right. Roller Funeral Home, with all our respect. They have 29 in the state, one in Memphis, Tennessee. We sure do appreciate them in our time of need when we lose a loved one. We'll pause now for the morning prayer. Dear Lord, I want to personally thank you for uh, keeping me and my brother safe on our trip over to Kentucky and uh, getting us through everything that we had to do. And we thank you for our health. We thank you for uh, just everything that you've given us. 
And uh, as always, watch over our first, uh, our, our children, our first responders, and our military, those that put themselves in harm's way for our uh, freedoms. In this I pray. Amen. Amen. Roll our funeral home with all our respect. <clears throat> Give them a call. Ask them about pre-need service. It's 870-425-2161. It's always good to have a plan in place for when your time comes. Isn't that right, Scooter? It is true. It's going to come regardless. Nobody can beat it, so you might as well have it set up so your loved ones don't have to do it. Very good. We'll pause now for Bob and Linda Zadora of the Z-Team. Oh, honey, we've had such a wonderful vacation here in the Ozarks. I really hate to go home. I know. The lakes, the rivers, they've all been great for fishing. Oh, and the boating and the swimming. And the people are so nice in the stores and restaurants. Let's call an agent and see if we can make Mountain Home our new home. Call the Z Team, 870-405-0793. Century 21 Lemac Realty, 1024 Highway 62 East Mountain Home. 870-405-0793. Hello, Z Team? Welcome back to the morning show. Bob and Linda Zadora of the Z team. You're looking to buy or sell a home, you really do need to give them a call. 870-405-0793. You know, a lot of people do come over and visit and decide yes. this is this is where I want to go. That happens a lot. I mean, believe it or not, people mm -hmm. are here on vacation and they're like, you know, I kinda like the area and let's look around and they'll call Bob and Linda and they'll actually take them around and show them the town. Yeah. This is what you're looking at living here. Yeah. And there's a difference. It's just not a home. you got to be part of the community. You've got to know what's going on and be happy with where you're living in the community. Mm -hmm. And uh, they'll take you around and make sure that you know the ins and outs and make sure it's a good fit. Because it's not for everybody. Right. I, I'll give it. it it's, it's a small town. If you're used to the big city and you like that kind of thing, this probably isn't going to be for you. But... Um, yeah. They will make sure that you know what this community has to offer, how things go, and mm -hmm. uh, it just it makes a difference. I mean, they are realtors. I I would recommend to a friend. Most definitely. Well, let's take a look at the White River, brought to you by Bob and Linda Zadora of the Z Team. And you're right. I you know some people live in a big city and they don't want to uh, see this every day, right? Uh, they they love the options, I guess you would say, in a big city. But I love this area. I went to Louisville. Uh, the past week and I can tell you the hustle and bustle of a big city is not for me I've lived in a small town most of my life absolutely love it like this little town Cotter Arkansas that's brought to you by the Z team from way of their cameras on the back of their house they um, they filter through YouTube and they put them on their website at retire to arkansas.net oh my goodness look at that mm -hmm. that is amazing that is switch over they got a couple cameras back there one is that wide angle that we showed. I'll, I'll go back to it real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, this one kind of gives you the whole uh, broad spectrum of the area. shows you Mountain Home in the backgrounds, Cotter's right there up front. Um, and then they got the zoom-in camera. Now, this camera is pretty cool because it moves like every 15, 20 seconds and goes to different locations yeah. throughout the area. And it's just cool. It's great pictures. Uh, my background savers are a number of these pictures that I've taken over the years. And right. I just screenshot what's on the screen. It's pretty cool. That is really cool. If you're looking to buy or sell a home, give them a call at 870-405-0793. Go to their website where you can find these beautiful views, but also the MLS listings and all of their listings at retiredtoarkansas.net. They also have a plethora of information about the Ozarks. So if you just need to know what it's like to live here and, you can go and see uh, all kinds of videos and read about it and then give them a call, 870-405-0793. Realtors you'd recommend to a friend. They're also senior real estate specialists, so if you're looking to downsize your home to something a little bit more manageable, you know, maybe you live outside of town, and a lot of people do. We are rural, as they say. Oh, they're train station. And uh, maybe you live by the train station. You don't want to hear the train no more. You want to move back to town, right? I can understand that, too. <laughs> but they can help you sell that big house and get you something a little bit smaller, a little bit more manageable. And, you know, we've got a lot of these places, the duplexes and stuff, that uh, over 55. And they take care of the yard for you. And, you know, you can get it down to the basics of just sitting on the front porch or Going and out to eat. Homes are selling right now. I mean, mm -hmm. there's still hotcakes. If you're interested, you need to give them a call. Get on, get out there. Oh, Especially, yeah. Especially, I think, through the summer when people are still coming in visiting and and uh, they're ready to buy. They're they ready are. to move in. Yep. 
they, yeah, they're, they're still selling as quick as they were a year ago, two yeah. years ago. Uh, the, the prices and rates have fluctuated. They've gone back and forth a little bit, but you know, you can still get a good deal and this is a beautiful place to live. So, you know, you might as well get it while you can. I agree. I agree too. Look at that's amazing. Connor, Arkansas, Horseshoe Bend of the White River. Uh, brought to you by Bob and Linda's The Door of the Z Team every day here on the show. But you can go to their website at retiredarkansas.net and see it 24-7. You ought to really check it out when there's a lightning storm. Yes, and it's pretty cool. It is really cool. Even a snowstorm coming through. It looks like Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good. So I'm going to get this radar refreshed. Right, Scooter? There you go. Man, I remembered. Kinda. Kinda. <laughs> Let's see the uh, look at the weather brought to you by Bob and Linda's the door of the Z team. In Mount Nome at 63, Harrison at 64, Batesville at 61, Yellville at 62, Marshall at 61, Salem at 66, Mountain View at 61, Calico Rock at 63, West Plains at 66, Springfield at 68, Popular Buff at 62, and St. Louis at 67. So, nice to see the 60s in the morning again, yes. right? Yes. Yes. All right. National weather radar. Look at the activity going through. Well, it disappears after 11, so we're just going to wait for it to come back around. You can see it's in Louisiana, Mississippi. But look at that right over Oklahoma. Look, it's almost all across Oklahoma. It starts to roll into uh, the northern part of Dallas. Uh, well, just above Dallas into texas and then it comes across into arkansas but and we've got a little bit of something it looks like around 10 11 o'clock we'll go ahead and zoom in here let that roll back around you can see around 10 11 o'clock it starts to show some activity across bolshals lake maybe uh maybe we're gonna see something today yeah this is about seven o'clock here and then eight eight you can see southern arkansas it starts to develop Nine. East or western part, right there. Eh, it's quick. It shows that it's going to dissipate for hits, but I think it's going to be awfully close. So we may see. We may see something. May Let's see get something this. that pops up from it. You never know when it's getting that close. Mm -hmm. You can see over both Souls Lake, right around ten thirty, ten twenty. So we'll see. Never know. Never know. Well, you got some watches and warnings. All almost all of Texas has an eat advisory. It looks like you got some flood watches and warnings in uh, Oklahoma, but Arkansas and Missouri look at, like they're in the clear. Seven-day forecast today. It shows patchy fog, then mostly sunny, so maybe we won't see it uh, during the day. High of 91 tonight, partly cloudy, then a slight chance of thunderstorms at 20%, uh, low of 71. Wednesday, 30% chance of thunderstorms, high of 96 Wednesday night, 30% chance and low of 74. Thursday, a 40% chance of thunderstorms, high of 94. Thursday night, 50% chance and low of 73. Wow, Friday, 50% chance of thunderstorms, high of 92. Into the night, it's you know 50%, low of 72. And Saturday, <laughs> guess what it is? 50% <laughs> chance. <laughs> chance of thunderstorms, high of 90. So let's roll it on here to Sunday and let's just get a peek. It's that time of year. It is. 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms, mostly sunny with a high of 87. And into the nighttime at a 20% chance, partly cloudy and low around 68. So you know this is going to change as we go on. Thursday we're going to come in here and it's going to be like dropped or higher. Yeah. Well, when the humidity gets this high, it's just you got those pop-ups you don't know. Yep. Tree pollen today is low, grass pollen is moderate, and ragweed is low. North Fork Lake water level is at 556.42. Level is 4.442 feet above full pool. They are shut down. Bull Shoals Lake water level is 659.42. Level is, oh gosh, 0.42 feet, just a half a foot. So they're doing real good. They are generating one for minimum flow. And that is a look at your weather brought to you by Bob and Linda Zadora of the Z Team. So let's take a break and we're going to come back with some community news brought to you by Mower Warehouse of Mountain Home, Arkansas. Be right back.
Hi, Brett, Fritz, and Paisley here at Mower Warehouse on Buzzard Roost Road. We sell fair zero turn mowers that have patented cool spring suspension. Mower Warehouse has the largest selection of Ferris zero turn mowers in stock. 0% financing available. We buy, sell, trade new and used mowers. Mower Warehouse also services all brands of mowers. We offer free delivery. Come see us for all your mower needs. That's Mower Warehouse on Buzzard Roost Road in Mountain Home, where your business is appreciated. Welcome back to the morning show on XL7 TV. <laughs> this part of community news is brought to you by Mower Warehouse of Mountain Home, Arkansas. For all your in outdoor, indoor, I was going to say indoor. Well, you could, I guess you could, you could use some of their products indoor. My son used my leaf blower and sits on a chair and spins as fast as I can. He'll line up his friends in a circle so the air's got something to go against and they will just start. That's awesome. Yeah, it's all pretty right. cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So, for indoor all, or outdoor. All your indoor <laughs> outdoor needs. <laughs> Give Mower Warehouse a call, 870-701-5222. Get yourself a leaf blower. <laughs> I didn't tell you to do that. Maybe. <laughs> and a nice oiled up office chair. <laughs> maybe get you a skateboard. Put the backpack oh, leaf blower that on. That might work. Right. There but you point go. It, point now it backwards. You're talking. I'm telling you what. <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> but really, though, go buy one or warehouse. They are located at 17 Full Bite Drive, and they have everything. They have the lawnmowers you stand on, push, sit on. They have leaf blowers. They Weedy have dudes. generators. And yeah, anything and everything you need for outdoor. I service and, them. Yes. If you're mm -hmm. needing to get your mower service, you're needing a part you're needing anything you need to stop by there first because right. you know you don't want to be waiting you know having to order and waiting a number of days and and nine times out of ten they're going to have it they yeah. they've they've had all the parts i've needed and and they've done really well by me so Excellent. i do recommend them they have a little spot over on 62 yeah and they're working it. on it they're remodeling mm, the building yeah. and they've got some mowers sitting out front and that's going to be a nice location for them it yeah. really will be if you know where uh, brenda's country cafe is out 62 east it's right across the street yep yep be a great location for them mm -hmm. it's going to be real good so <clears throat> let's see some community news starting today we've been talking about this now for what about a month yes and uh, northwest arkansas wellness innovative tr readiness training that starts today through the 19th. No cost medical services. First come, first serve while supplies last. There'll be uh, medical, mental health, sports physicals, optometry, dental exams, extractions, and fillings. Yeah. And uh, that's located at the Yellville Summit High. Uh, we'll have some yeah. guests tomorrow. Yes, uh, the, some of the military people that are putting this on are coming in tomorrow. Listen, you don't need insurance. You don't even need ID. Just name and uh, yep. date of birth. Name and date of birth. Name and Go date in of birth. there. Everything is free. Um, they'll take care of you. It's a it's a great service. It really is. Now you want to be there an hour before they close. Uh, and that way they got time to get you registered, yeah. get you through stuff like that. But um, they're they're going on all week. So guys, get out there. I mean, mm -hmm. go ahead and you know if something's bothering you or you're needing a pair of glasses, right? Uh, whatever the case may be, they'll they'll take care of you. Very good. It's an awesome program. That's exactly right. Starting today, let's see. Uh, let's, let's do the all right. July 11th, 9 to 5 p.m. So they'll be there nine, 9 to 5. five. So try to get there. If it's towards the end of the day at 4, you know, you don't want to show up at 4.50 when they're going to be done at 5. You know? And we're blessed to have a number of them that's coming on the morning show tomorrow and talking about what's going yeah. on and what they're doing hands-on. So that'd be cool. I'm be excited. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pancake breakfast fundraiser uh, brought to you by the American Legion Post number 52. It's $8 per person, $4 for kids 5 through 12, free kids, uh, free for kids 4 and under, uh, free for World War II and Korean War veterans, free military and LEO EMT in uniform. That's July 28th on a Saturday. It includes all-you-can-eat pancakes, biscuit and gravy, sausage, coffee, and orange juice. The Alley White Legion Post, number 52, is at 717 Market Street in Mountain Home. That'd be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, Scooter, if you would, go ahead and bring up this uh, uh, Mountain Home Fire Department versus Mountain Home Police Department charity rag ball <coughs> game. 
That'll be August 12th at 6 p.m. The Mountain Home High School softball field. There'll be pre-game festivities, bounce houses, and the Nick Reed Band will be there. All money goes towards two local charities. So okay, who? which one you picking? Hmm. You got to pick one or the other. Well, my buddy uh, Tommy Felicia uh, sent me this, and I'm going to go with the Mountain Home Fire Department. Cause All right, he's, I'll, he's I'll on, take the police department. You'll take the police? I got my buddy Robert. I got to support him. So. Yeah. All right. Um, we got a, a number of friends over there. So we, 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 we'll, we will decide for the wager. We for will, charity. Yeah, we'll give it to charity. Charity. Yeah. Well, yeah. Give me a number. Uh, 50 bucks. All right. Deal. 50 bucks. It's on. All right. All right. So whoever whoever wins is good but whoever loses got to give 50 bucks to whatever to the to the, one of the two charities yeah two local charities yeah very good i'm good with that yeah so mountain home fire department versus mountain home police department charity rag ball game it's on i have to ask who won last year because we'll we'll, we'll talk about this again and it, it, it's august 12th so august i may have to go watch that game <laughs> <laughs> right now on. i got money on it <laughs> So, and any other calendar of events or news, I always like to uh, bring up the Chamber of Web, uh, Chamber of Commerce's website, enjoymountainhome.com. You can find this calendar of events and see the different things that, uh, like the Sleeman Center, they do a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. The food bank, what's the farmer's market, and the Marook Center. You can just scroll down and see what's going on in the area. Um, each date has a number up in the corner, so there's two, three events, two events, four going on. So, you know, check that out for any community events. But I guess we better roll on. Yeah, you're running over. Running way over today. You have the right to remain solid. You just don't have the ability. Anyway, (laughs) we're going to take a break and come back with Christy Kern of Arkansas State University Mountain Home. It'll be a good show. Stay tuned. Have you ever noticed every time you wash your car, you end up wetter than the actual car? Next time, run down to Car Care and let the friendly staff put a smile on your face. Car Care of Mountain Home has a variety of services to clean your vehicle's needs, inside and out. From a simple wash and shine to their outstanding detail services. Located 1525 Highway 62 East in Mountain Home. Stop by Car Care of Mountain Home today because driving a clean car always makes you feel good. When you think about Hospice of the Ozarks, it's our desire that you think about finding a way to live your life to the fullest while living with a serious illness. If you ever need help and support, we provide a team of healthcare professionals and volunteers that will support your physical, emotional, and spiritual aspects of life while doing the same for your family and caregivers in the comfort of your own home or wherever you call home. When you think about Hospice of the Ozarks, We hope that you grant us permission to walk on the journey with you. Your not-for-profit option since 1979. When you're out of town, make sure your pet is with someone who will love them as much as you do. At 201 Pet Salon and Resort, your pet is cared for just as they would be at home. 201 Pet Salon and Resort is the only all-sweet climate-controlled and air-filtered boarding facility in the area with private and spacious rooms to keep your pet relaxed. And with over three-quarters of an acre of fence play area, your pet will receive the proper exercise they deserve. 201 also offers professional grooming services. Your best friend is in good hands at 201 Pet Salon and Resort in Mountain Home. All you've ever wanted was a place to write your story. You hear it's not the right time to buy or sell a house, but really, the best time is when it's right for you. The real estate markets, they change, they go up, they go down. One thing that doesn't change is where you want to be in your life. The professionals you team up with will make your story happen. The Z Team are the professionals you need to hire for your next chapter. So call the Z Team at 870-405-0793, Century 21 Lemac Realty, 1024 Highway 62 East, RetiredToArkansas.net. Are you looking for the best barbecue in two states? Holy smokes! Want the meatiest fall off the bone ribs? Holy smokes! The most tender and delicious pulled pork? Holy smokes! The tastiest brisket in the Ozarks? Holy smokes! Holy smokes barbecue and catering is the only place you need to go. Dine in, carry out, and the best food for your next catered event. Holy smokes! We're your mountain home for great barbecue cooking. Holy smokes! A higher calling for your taste buds. Seven. 
Welcome back to the Morning Show on XL7 TV. We're visiting with Christy Kern, Arkansas State University, Mountain Home. It's been a while. It's good to see you. I love you. you guys. It always makes my morning when I see you guys. Well, thank you. Y'all are awesome. Y'all know as much so, about ASU Mountain Home as I do. Well, I mean, I'm serious. I don't need to even be here. It's a great school. You could do it. I graduated it from there. I know it's, you did. Kirsten just graduated from there. Now I'm she's uh, uh, transferred over to A-State. I love it. I love it. Yep. Yep, it's you can do real it. Good. We can help anybody get in and get going. We've got summer two classes are going on now. Yeah. And um, our enrollment is doing great. We're doing really about the same as we were last year. A lot of schools are down and we're just we're just maintaining and hanging good. in. We're so proud of that. Yes, it's hard. Yeah. It's hard. Um, you know, there's so much competition for jobs right now. A lot of people yes. are working right now and they put off school, but uh, now is a great time and we've got some new programs starting that will help people get a good job or a leg up on a better job. So, yeah, it's a great time to come back to school. Most definitely. And it, you don't have to be 18 years old graduating high Lord, school. No. I went back at 38. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah. I, you know, a lot of our students look like me, look like you, mm -hmm. look like us, and we're, I mean, really, it's yeah. its not its not just a school for 18-year-olds who are right out of college. Right. I mean, right or out right of high next, school. Yeah. Yes, it's 7.15. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um, but, yeah, it, and the cool thing about ASU Mountain Home is that there is that generational difference mm -hmm. in the classroom, so there's so much to be said for, for learning, you know, right beside folks who don't look just like you and whether or not a lot of – you know, a lot of competition for other activities. You can really focus on working while you're here, saving money, um, getting your first two years of a, of a transfer degree if you want to. Whatever you're interested in doing, whether it's, you know, um, in the healthcare field or in business or, you know, like you and others do, if you want to go into graphic design or mm -hmm. something in business, you know, we can help you get started. Some of our degrees are just two-year degrees, and some of yeah. them lead to a four-year degree. And um, a lot of folks a lot of folks take advantage of that savings of money, smaller class sizes, oh, yeah. um, you know, and some specialized attention. Lots of good free things that are available to our students that aren't available on a bigger campus, or you don't even know about them on a right. bigger campus yeah. sometimes. So, yeah, lots of classes online. Lots of classes that don't require books, mm -hmm. or our books are free. We, we're doing a, a new rollout of um, some um, open educational resources where there are some free textbooks. Really? So, yes. That's excellent. Because mm -hmm. them uh -huh. books ain't cheap. Yes. No, they're not. I mean, <laughs> so. when you look at tuition costs, mm -hmm. that's a portion of what you're going to spend yeah. going to college. Yes. I mean, books and fees and um, parking decal on a main campus uh, at, at a bigger school might be $500. We don't charge for parking on our campus. Yeah. So it's amazing how things add up. And, uh, you know, really, our faculty have been focused this last year on uh, finding resources for classes that are, that are not um, involved in buying a textbook. Or there are some some textbooks that are available for free online that are that are similar to the textbooks that we have, the same yeah. content, but they're just uh, they've just been put on this open educational resources list, and we can use those for free. So we're doing our best to save students money and make it a good experience for them at the same time. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because in a national debate about student loans that we've been uh, having now for the past couple of years, uh, and those are supposed to start back up, I think, in October. Yeah. Um, I haven't had to pay on mine, yeah. which I had some. Yeah. But it's nice to know that there's a school that you can pretty much go to for free or get paid. If you do enough scholarships, oh, yeah. Yeah. you know, applications right. like my daughter did, and she was. She was getting money back. Right. School was paid for, getting a little bit of that money back. She still worked. She put that in her savings. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, um, I mean, we, we have very few students who take out loans um, because – Mm -hmm. Several of our programs have workforce development grants associated with them. So the state of Arkansas will pay you to get trained in a certain field. Um, you know, with, with partnerships with the hospital, the Promise Scholarship, other, other opportunities in town, 85 to 90 percent of our students have got some form of financial aid um, that will help towards tuition. So, yeah. yes, or pay the full tuition. So, yeah, yeah absolutely. Good. That's excellent. Yeah. Well, I, I wanted to touch on the red, white, and blue. Cause oh, my gosh. So fun. It was so fun, yeah. so fun. I just hats off to Danny Pugsley and um, everybody at the Chamber of Commerce who helped. They've taken over the Red, White, and Blue Festival festival from a volunteer-run festival, basically, yeah. and um, they just did an excellent job. Uh, I saw 21,000 people were on our campus or, the, or, or at the rodeo arena. Um, a lot of people. During that, <laughs> during that one-day event, yeah. And, um, 
you know, they did a great job of staggering things and condensing things. We had the Mountain Home Symphony Orchestra yeah, perform shed. on mm -hmm. Friday night before, but then everything else was on Saturday, and it just was, it made for a great event. I think so. The, I do Instead too. of separating from Friday and yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Because, you know, some parents are like, oh, I'm tired if they took the kids on Friday. Yes, yes. So putting it all on one day was a great idea. I think so, too. I mm -hmm. think so, too. My family actually went to the rodeo Friday night and enjoyed that. It's so mm -hmm. much fun. And the monkeys riding dogs were back this year. <laughs> Just going to say that is a highlight of my life. Um, when my husband and I moved here, we went to the rodeo. One of the first things we did was go to the rodeo and saw monkeys riding dogs. And I thought, the, this is outrageous. And they were back this year. It was so yeah. awesome to see them it's just such uh the chicks and spurs do such a beautiful oh, job yeah. and we're so fortunate to be able to watch yes. all that i had four little children with me from my mm -hmm. family in mississippi and they they were their minds were blown went to the parade that morning mm -hmm. went to the um fireworks that afternoon they went and played on all the all the stuff down in the kids zone yeah it could not have been better couldn't have been better that's yeah. excellent. Yeah. We, uh, Carla and I ended up parking on the bypass. Yeah. Right there at the dip. And it was a front row seat. To good it. for you. And the show was so good. I don't think there's a bad, there's not there's a really bad, not. there's not a bad <coughs> view. Um, you know, so many people take advantage of the library's parking yep. or harps, 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 harps all banks. around there. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, really, and you can get in and out pretty quickly. We were actually on the heart of campus and didn't have any trouble at all getting out. We exited on Wade Street and went out mm -hmm. that way. And it just, it's organized so well. There's it so is. many, so many great <clears throat> things to do during that day, and and then you've got the fourth to celebrate with your own family. You know, however you do that traditionally. So it's a great, it's a great event, and we're so fortunate. It was a twenty something year, 22, 23 yeah, year, twenty two year. Wow, I, think it was. I mean, I think so. Twenty two yeah. years. Yeah. Pat Ballard and those who started that, Ed Coulter, um, folks who who had the foresight to begin that in our in our community have really put us on the map it's the best to me the best fireworks show in oh, north Bar central Nine. arkansas yeah for Bar sure Nine. for sure maybe yeah. in arkansas it, it was excellent i mean uh -huh. and i didn't get to see the fireworks show uh, unfortunately um usually i go to it every year but this year i, I was but i did go by and we went through all the yeah uh, the the stands and the booths people mm -hmm. had yeah. and stuff like that so we had great food and, Great and I'm, I'm just I'm so tickled pink to see the numbers because you, know, you never know what the heat's going to do when it gets yeah, that hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and people came out. Oh and yeah, it, they really did. For sure, for sure. Well, Danny and those guys have been um, kind of geofencing and counting the numbers for the last yeah. several years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think she said this was the highest attendance we've had in. And years. I thought it would be. You in know, years. the years of COVID. Yeah. As the as we get past it every year, you know, people start to just let it go and in, it increases the amount of people that, yeah, yeah, yeah. that show up. We're seeing an uptick in people that are attending events at the Shed. Um, yeah. Of course, our performing arts you know, took such a hit, and uh, the whole performing arts community, um, you know, people that were performing are all of a sudden not on the road anymore, and it doesn't just impact the artist. It's everybody who works to put those yeah. shows together, and wow, I mean, what a hit they took. And so it's been, it's been a blessing for us to see the, the shows come back yeah. Um, we're actually about to announce our next season, which will be our 12th performing arts series um, at ASU Mountain Homes. Just about to announce that. We're so excited. Um, and, you know, it's just uh, we're seeing those numbers go increase. Yeah. yeah, yeah, as we go along. So the first year back after COVID was tough, and mm -hmm. um, people just weren't comfortable coming back inside in mass groups. But we're seeing the numbers go back up, and it's wonderful. It's Very wonderful. Good. Yeah. Very good. Got to celebrate. Got to celebrate. Yeah. Another great event that you guys just had the charity golf classic yes. raised thirty one thousand yes. dollars i'm going to tell you something um you know and this is an amazing community story too yelcott the folks that support that charity golf classic have raised over five hundred thousand dollars for this yeah. community yeah i don't um, think people know it's been going on for 22 years i'm just going to tell you it is yeah. quite it's quite an event um lang zimmerman sarah zimmerman everybody who's affiliated with yelcott uh, uh big creek they just knock themselves out. Just people in yeah. town donate food, donate beverages, um, pay for the lunch for the golfers. And, and that money is going to our technical center now for programs and Excellent. for equipment and things that we need out there. And it has helped build our technical center, really. Most um, and we're so grateful. Yeah. So grateful for yeah. that. Let's, let's touch on the technical center. But first, we'll take a break and we'll come back because that thing is growing. Oh, my gosh. Adding is it growing? It. Yes. yes. All right. We'll be right back. Jim Brown Company keeps you cool when it's hot and warm when it's not. 
A trusted name in the mountain home community, Jim Brown Company provides timely heating and cooling installation and repairs. Our certified technicians incorporate new technology on every job to provide you with the most advanced services. At our metal fabrication shop, we handle projects big and small. We've created everything from commercial ducts to custom designs. I'd recommend Jim Brown Company to my friends and neighbors. The reason being they have high-tech equipment. Their service techs are well qualified for the job that they do. And they also send me a report after all the work is done so I know exactly what my unit's doing. By visiting our showroom, you can learn all about our heating and cooling products. We'll educate you on your options and help you decide on the right solution. For total comfort at your home or business, choose Jim Brown Company. Quality service with a family name since 1964. Diatli Dental Care is a family-owned dental practice. Doctors Irvin and Christina Diatli grew up in the Twin Lakes area and are proud to serve the community. With modern treatment methods and state-of-the-art technology, they are dedicated to providing exemplary care to patients of all ages. Our compassionate team consistently receives training above and beyond the standard of care. We're changing the way you see dentistry. Come be a part of our dental family. Overhead Door, a garage door company that has been with your family from the beginning. Through all the ups and downs of life. From the small repairs to making your vision a reality. Overhead Door, your trusted garage door expert since 1921. Be sure you're getting the genuine, the original overhead door service. Call Overhead Door Company of North Arkansas today in Mountain Home. At Letty's Mexican Restaurant, we are here to keep you safe during these difficult times, as well as serve you the best Mexican food in the area. That's why we've installed a convenient pickup window for all your to-go and pickup orders, as well as a covered outdoor seating area. Give us a call at 870-435-2532 to order your next meal. And don't forget, Letty's also provides catering for small parties or big events. Experience the best in Mexican cuisine. Letty's in Gasville. Hey, there was three sevens up there. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, man. Welcome back to the morning show on XL7 TV. <laughs> seven. Seven is today's lucky number. Seven. 737. We're visiting with Christy Kern, Arkansas State University Mountain Home. Before the break, we were just about to touch on the tech center and how it's growing. Woo. Yeah, construction is it's moving fast. It is. It is. We are really under the gun to try to get those um, new programs that are going to be located in the addition, you know, up and propped up so we can teach mm -hmm. August 21st when classes start. So we're adding marine manufacturing. We're doing yeah. gel coating and um, lots of stuff out there related to the to the marine manufacturing businesses that are that are available in this area and there are about 2000 jobs in our yeah. area that are related to my, boat manufacturing. My brother will appreciate that cuz yes. he's the Arcraft su supervisor at Basscat. Awesome. And he can use people. I'm telling you and people with training already so they yes. don't have to train them on the job. Just roll right in. Roll in, That's roll in. Yes, so we have worked with those guys and uh, Vexus and Ranger at you know all the boat manufacturing places in town to figure out what would be best help for them. So gel coating and those kinds of things are just super important because it's an yeah. art. Yeah, it is. And they you have to be good at it when you walk on the on the floor. So um, anyway, those manufacturing pro, uh, jobs are excuse me classes are starting this fall, August twenty first, and so we're going to be ready. We're adding six thousand square feet nice. to the tech center out front, and thanks to Gregory Construction, looks like we're on time to to get those uh, classrooms ready and, and up and propped up and running. Um, we're also doing aluminum weld now. So, right. you know, we did MIG and TIG and, mm -hmm. and stick welding, and now we're doing aluminum welding. That's going to help the boat manufacturers Definitely. with all the trailers that are built and um, other things that are built in town um, that – that need aluminum welders and there's a difference and i don't know what it is but y'all <laughs> might but i don't but we're so we're adding that as well um our welding continues to grow they're mm -hmm. just jobs all That's over the place where my cousin he went back to asu mountain home for welding and uh, he works out at uh, easy loader yeah mm -hmm. yeah well there there are great opportunities in those fields you you will not have a trop, uh, any trouble finding a job another new thing we're adding out there is cdl training so saw the big semi there in front of harps we have bought two 
okay. tractors to, and a big trailer, and uh, we have an, a virtual a simulator out right. at the tech center that looks like oh, you're I looks like you're playing in a dead gum virtual reality game. Yeah. It's see. amazing. Yeah, I posted a video of a, of a kid at Young, Young Manufacturers Academy enjoying that. Um, what you just uh, that just happened. It was a five days of. Everything yes. you can think of when yes. it comes to the tech and, center. And kids had the best time out there. There we go. There you go. That's a that's a student who was out for Young Manufacturers Academy, enjoying that 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 simulator for CDL training. That's awesome. Isn't it awesome? That is and so cool. It is both automatic and stick. Okay. So you can learn both. Um, Which they're probably looking at the stick going, uh, well, no. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Give me an automatic, but That please. kid's not doing badly. Um, they can <laughs> they can make that simulator uh, have a, a pedestrian walk in front. They can right. have a deer come out from nowhere. Um, th so you're really learning in that simulator. We're not going to put you on the road unless you've had some training in a real a real truck though so we've right. got one one is parked in front of harps now that one's fixing to move out to the technical center and uh joel hudson's working on some signage for the side of it for us so yeah i'd seen on the inside towards harps it had that big beautiful logo and the sign and yeah and then on the other side i was like it's empty they should have turned that well, around well poor joel <laughs> poor joel um you know i'm the i'm the logo police and i was like joel we got to get rid of the black behind the logo so poor joel I, I'm, yeah i'm sorry i i, I, I know I'm, you know I'm i wasn't a, gonna say anything I'm a about that it's about our but, logo. Oh, it's I am. awesome. I am. Yeah. So he's gonna he's gonna get rid of the black behind the logo for me and Good. get that get that side of that truck. Uh, we're gonna do the train here, go anywhere. Lo, um, you know, tagline on the other side of the truck too. Very and, good. And put student driver on there so nobody is alarmed um but anyway joel <laughs> hudson's working on it for us good and uh, gonna make it look good so right. yeah the little bitty banner on the other side uh, that was like for the front or the back of the truck but yeah. they put it on the side there you go so yeah. you will train in a, a real semi and you'll you'll be ready to go with your license and everything by the time you get out so you got to do a little drug test got to do the right things sure. to make sure we don't put yeah. somebody on the road who um, would endanger anyone else. So got to do good. all those things, but we will make it safe for you. And there are so many, right beside it is a, is a thing saying CDL drivers needed. Did you notice that? Huh. There's a little school bus right there by our tractor trailer at Harps that yeah. says CDL drivers needed. So I love it. There are, there's so yeah. many companies. Yeah. You can you can have a job like that yeah. Yeah. in yeah. truck driving yeah. and make really good money. Really good money. Yeah. And you're not tied down to an office every day. Right. It's your own environment. You travel, you pick your schedule and mm -hmm. you choose the, the route and the company that, that kind of, if you want to travel across the country and That's haul exactly things. exactly right. Or if, if you, you want to stay nationwide here. nationwide or yeah. stay close to home. Yeah, whatever. Those opportunities are out there. So that's great that yes. you all are yes. setting so, that up. Yeah, and the thing about those classes is there are only five students allowed in each class. So it's not like you're learning around 50 kids. You know, you're five, okay. five students at a time. Mm -hmm. Um, there's seven week courses, but you leave with your CDL license and you can go to work. That's so excellent. it's a small class. You're getting hands-on personalized attention, and then you're gonna you're gonna be ready to go to a job right away driving that trucks. That is awesome. So we've got a start date August 21st, and then another one starts in October. So get on the list if yeah. you want to get in one of these first two classes. Uh, I think we have two spots left in the August class, and then uh, a couple of spots left in the October class. So if you're interested, you really need to go out to the tech center and talk to those guys, or fill out an application online, and we'll be in touch about it. Excellent. But yeah, there's lots. Lots of opportunity with that as well. So right. Tech Center's growing. Oh, We're it excited. is. And the, the Young Manufacturers Academy was five days, ASU Mountain Home yeah. Workforce Development and Community Education. Uh, it went over everything from engineering, CAD, yeah. automotive, welding, machining, uh, truck driving, robot building and programming. And you have you have a lot of good sponsors. I'll just we read do. off some. We Texas, Dan Foss, yep. Anvil Metal and Fabrication, Gregory Company, Ranger Boats, yep. Easy Loader. Oh, we They've couldn't been do it without so them. much help. Yeah, with and the those tech kids center. don't have to pay to go to yeah. Young Manufacturers Academy, which is but thanks to those sponsors. Um, and they learn they get an introduction to all of those careers. There are so many students who don't don't want to follow a traditional path right, to and college. That's okay. It's so okay. Yeah. And thankfully, our schools around here recognize that, you know, and so those teenagers were, had an opportunity to kind of test the waters, just like that kid driving that semi right. in that simulator. Um, you know, just to see that there are opportunities to make great money 
that don't require a four year degree that mm -hmm. that really we can get you we can get you fixed up and and our high schools are doing a good job too of helping those students find the right path for them yeah whatever that is we've yeah. got great career coaches in Cotter Flippin Jerem Beavers works in Cotter and Flippin um, she is fantastic y'all know Jaren um, and she, her love is to help students find their path whether it's to the military or to a career you know outside the traditional sure. um, realm and then of course if you're interested in in a four-year degree and doing something that requires a higher level of education whether it's veterinary or or nursing or something at the you know at the at the at the school or being a teacher or a counselor or something like that we can help you with that as well yeah so i've got jaron beavers at cotter and flippin sarah goodwin is out at yellville we're so grateful to have a part-time career coach out at yellville now that works for asu mountain home but is actually in those classrooms your wife was a great career coach for us um we're just we're super fortunate uh whitney rawlings uh whitney Yes, Whitney is out at Mountain Home High School. Tracy Stevens just moved into a counseling role, so we're hiring one other, um, Rogers, Whitney Rogers. We're hiring one more career coach at Mountain Home High School here in the next couple of weeks. So Excellent. we're super excited about having them work for ASU Mountain Home, but they are in the high schools every day yeah. helping kids test and do things that will help them find the right path. Excellent. Yeah. That's excellent. Yeah. Very good. Let's at 7.45, we'll go ahead and take another break. Okay. We'll come back with more from uh, Arkansas State University Mountain Home. If you're looking for something wonderful and delicious, head on over to Paradise Cream for a homemade ice cream experience. With over 20 flavors like German chocolate cake and sea salt caramel, it's always homemade and delicious. Paradise Cream has something for everyone and also carries dairy-free and vegan ice cream options. So rather you like it in a cup or in one of their homemade waffle cones, you're in for a wonderful dessert experience. Located in Mountain Home next to Ramada Inn or at their Harrison address across from Pizza Hut and Castle Rental. Let Paradise Cream cater your next event because you're on your way to paradise. Well, folks, have you ever been trout fishing before? Not since I was a little kid. You'll do fine. Hey, hey, hey what, uh, what are you doing? Aren't you coming along? See you downriver. How do you start this motor? I've never been in a boat before. See you downriver. Well, folks, uh, have you sold a house before? Yeah, about 30 years ago. Yeah. Oh, well, you'll be okay then. You sure? Where are you going? Where are you going? See you at the closing. Hey! hey. At the closing. We, we should call the Z-Team. Team. Hi, Brett, Fritz, and Paisley here at Mower Warehouse on Buzzard Roost Road. We sell fair zero turn mowers that have patented cool spring suspension. Mower Warehouse has the largest selection of Ferris zero turn mowers in stock. Zero percent financing available. We buy, sell, trade new and used mowers. Mower Warehouse also services all brands of mowers. We offer free delivery. Come see us for all your mower needs. That's Mower Warehouse on Buzzard Roost Road in Mountain Home, where your business is appreciated. Have you ever noticed every time you wash your car, you end up wetter than the actual car? Next time, run down to Car Care and let the friendly staff put a smile on your face. Car Care of Mountain Home has a variety of services to clean your vehicle's needs, inside and out. From a simple wash and shine to their outstanding detail services. Located 1525 Highway 62 East in Mountain Home. Stop by Car Care of Mountain Home today because driving a clean car always makes you feel good. When you think about Hospice of the Ozarks, it's our desire that you think about finding a way to live your life to the fullest while living with a serious illness. If you ever need help and support, we provide a team of healthcare professionals and volunteers that will support your physical, emotional, and spiritual aspects of life while doing the same for your family and caregivers in the comfort of your own home or wherever you call home. When you think about Hospice of the Ozarks, we hope that you grant us permission to walk on the journey with you. Your not-for-profit option since 1970. Welcome back to the morning show on XL7 TV. It's 7:48. Just missed 7:47. 7. Yeah. Dang. It, oh, no, dang. Just, but you, he was talking. He couldn't stop. Oh my gosh. Y'all should have a quarter uh, jar, and every time a seven comes up on the screen, you should hey. put a quarter well, in the jar. There you go. Yeah, man. Find some good, good uh, charity or some youth there program. You, that would be amazing. Go. There you go. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Love yeah. it. Love it. Well, we love Arkansas State University Mountain Home. I do. I, you know. 
gosh, went there at 38 years old, got a graphic design degree, and my daughter went there and did a lot of online classes. Yeah. Now yeah. she's transferred over to A State. Uh, can't say you know any more good things about Mountain Homes well. um, College. So, but we were we were touching on the tech center, the expansion of it. Yeah. And you don't have to do you know your typical college classes. You can do a trade. Yes. You can do a trade, and there's yes. nothing wrong with doing a trade. So, or a good living doing a trade. Yeah. Can. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Fall yes. Uh, fall enrollment has started uh, on yes. July 5th. Yes. And um, so you wanna you wanna get down there. Also the. Um, Arkansas uh, Academic Challenge Scholarship yes. deadline was extended yes. to July 14th. They sure did, and that is great money that the state mm -hmm. provides for lots of different programs. Kirsten um, gets it. Got she to does. do it. Got to Goes do it. Goes up every year. I'm just going to tell you. Yep, mm -hmm. and there's no excuse. Just mm -hmm. apply. We can help you. Our financial aid folks can help you do it. Um, fill out the FAFSA, which is a free application for federal student Definitely. aid. Do not fail to do that because mm -hmm. you never know what you're going to qualify for that, yep. is, that is not a loan but is a grant to go to school. And that FAFSA is usually the first thing you do. Our folks can help you with that. Uh, you're going to need tax documents, so be prepared for that. Mm -hmm. Doesn't take long to do it, but it's just something you got to sit down and do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if you do that, then the money can start stacking, and you can get these scholarships that stack one on top of another. And like your daughter, sometimes you get a refund back, yep. and uh, you can use it for living expenses. Yep. So yeah, so many great scholarships are available in our area. Um, generosity of folks here. Janie and Tom Robbins just started a scholarship to help our our, our baseball team. Yeah, that's Trailblazer right. Trailblazer scholarship. Um, thank you to. Janie Janie and Tom and others who give scholarships. Our, our athletes are coming here without scholarships a lot of times. And so they recognized a need and said, hey, these mm -hmm. kids are not only coming to play baseball, but they're earning a, a degree too. So let's see if we can't help them a little bit too. We didn't have specific scholarship dollars just to woo people here to come play baseball. Sure. You know, ours were mostly program related or tied to um, grades or something like that. So Anyway, the Robins, thank goodness, um, yep. saw that need and met it, and we're, we're grateful. And they're accepting other donations into that Trailblazer Athletic Scholarship, yeah, too. Yeah, I have so. no doubt they'll probably get it, and it'll grow. I think so, too. Mm -hmm. I think so, too. We've got some new student orientations coming up, and that gives sure. you another chance to reg register for your classes. So we've got one next Thursday night, and then we've got some others. Um, we've got one on the 10th. And we're going to do, uh, on the night of the 10th, that's kind of a, it's a in conjunction with open houses that are going on on the Mountain Home Campus, Mountain Home High School Campus, and at the Christian Academy. Excellent. So if you've got students who are registering for classes at, at the high school or at the Christian Academy, and if they want to take concurrent classes or secondary classes out at our tech center, they can do both on that night. So we're going to be open late the night that they do those open houses at the, at the high school Excellent. and at the Christian oh, Academy, great. too. Yeah, and then our last new student orientation is going to be on the 17th before classes start on the on the 21st so in the next in the next few weeks um, new student orientation is a great time to get your class schedule in hand to meet with financial aid people and get that get that stuff done with help at ASU Mountain Home um, and learn a little bit more about the college and how to make a successful career out of going to college we've got tutoring available that's free um, library is there you can get your library card that night do all that stuff with admissions and financial aid and it's excellent and get it all done so you, lots working, of good opportunities everybody yeah. working as a as a team yeah. and and to make each individual successful yeah you know yep absolutely um to register for your classes you know you can apply get through the financial aid process get through the admissions process to get your schedule in your hands you're going to need to need to meet with an advisor or okay. have a little bit of help so those new student orientations give you a chance to do that with yeah. the person that's going to be um, advising you throughout your career or we've got folks um, who are working this summer to advise people who come in outside of that new student orientation time period. So we've that's always excellent. got somebody on hand who can advise you, get your schedule in your hand, but yeah. so and That's great. That, that's, that's what people need. They need a guide to they get do. through the process. They, do. Yeah. they really do. We used to call them trail guides Yeah. Um, that just show you what the classes are you're going to take to earn that degree, and your advisor can help uh, tell you which to take in order or to fit your schedule best if you've right. got to work and we can mm -hmm. help you get that all done. So you're not alone at ASU Mountain Home. We've got folks on hand all summer who can help you get enrolled, get your financial aid done, get your 
sketch a class schedule. Perfect. So, yeah. That's excellent. Absolutely. Well, I wanted to touch on uh, the retirement of uh, Dr. Robin I don't Myers. want to talk about that. I, <laughs> <laughs> I told him yesterday it makes me cry to think about Dr. Myers leaving. I was, it it was, I got to work, you know, four years with, with Dr. Coulter, and it was and those tough. And were, those were big shoes oh, to fill. Oh, my gosh. They when were huge Robin shoes Myers to fill. came, and, and think, Ed Coulter is huge here. Right? And he just stepped right in. I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm telling you. And look what he's been able to do, too. Yeah. yeah. Our next is issue of the Keystone Magazine kind of follows Dr. Um, Myers, where he picked up the, the torch from Dr. Coulter and the things that he's done. You know, we had two welding booths out in a in a pole barn back behind the shed <laughs> when, when Dr. Myers started. That's how it started. Yes, sir. Wow. And so he was hired to develop technical programs here, and look what he's done. And um, the impressive. growth on campus with our disc golf course, um, the walking trail. Dr. Myers just got a grant to put lighting out there, solar lighting, so nice. it'll be lit at night. Yeah. Um, awesome. He's working. Well, and that's work expanding underneath ah, yeah, uh, the, the bypass city. to go to the community center, yes. right? Yes. So the, the the city is the is doing working that. working on that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's going to be there's going to be um, great trail system all throughout Mountain Home here soon. People have asked me, can you bring your dog? Yes. Can you ride your bike? Yes. Can you bring um, a skateboard? Yes. It's just something for everybody to enjoy. Yeah. And it's people awesome. like your wife and others are enjoying it she does. every day, even in the heat. That's I don't right. get it, but yeah, early they in the are. Morning. You got to do it early you in do the morning. Early in the morning or yeah. late in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. for yeah. sure. But yeah. it's a lot of fun. And we do have a little watering station for dogs out there. There's lots of good seating out there. So you can take a picnic, mm -hmm. enjoy your enjoy lunch out there, or take it's a little so snack and, yeah. and just relax. Yeah, it's 1.6 miles right now. That's going to be um, fantastic to, to add the city's. Um, their yeah, trail their portion with it too. underneath, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Then we can go take a dip over in the pool once it gets built, right? <laughs> That's right. Do some walking and jump in the pool and yeah. have a good time. So, yeah, thank, thank you. I ran into Hillary Adams on the square the other mm -hmm. day, coming out of his wife's great store, The Mercantile. And uh, there were some folks there from out of town, and I said, Hillary Myers, Hillary um, Adams has done more in the four years that he's been mayor. I can't imagine what the next four years could be like with right. Hillary, you know? Can't imagine. He you know? has improved our park system. Wow. A hundredfold. Just incredible the things mm -hmm. he's done in four years. I'm, I'm so proud of Hillary um, and, and grateful that Mountain Home is, is um, just becoming the cool little place that it is. It is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 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 Yep. All for good. Very good. It's so great to see him out there watering plants and mm -hmm. there's just nothing he won't do. He's just like Robin Myers. So I got to tell you, yes. Robin, Robin's retirement, Dr. Myers retirement ceremony is going to be on the 18th. Mm -hmm. We're going to do that from 11 to 2. Okay. Um, and anyone, everyone is invited to stop by the Veda Shed Community Development Center. We're going to be right there in the in the Great Hall, the Dale Bumpers Great Hall. Um, our system president is going to is going to speak at about noon. I think Hillary um, Adams is going to have a little a little um, toast to Robin Myers as well. So come by Excellent. and have lunch with us. We're going to have a great food spread put out and um, have a great chance to tell Dr. Myers thank you for what he's done. And um, so that's the 18th, that's cool. yes, yeah. uh, from 11 to 2. And the community is welcome. We'd love for you to come by, grab a sandwich, and and see see Dr. Myers and tell him thank you. Excellent. And I was wondering about that part with having the reception. It's yeah. how many people could come. It's anybody Anyone. can come we through. Anyone. We want everyone in town to stop by and say say Excellent. thank you to Dr. Myers. Yeah. Absolutely. He's been such a big part of ASU Mountain Home. We do appreciate you, Dr. Myers. We hope you have a great retirement. Yes. And I'm sure we'll still see him around doing he, something. Yeah, he's not leaving. He's not, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, he loves to golf, so uh, he's, oh, he's planning to play a lot to of golf. golf. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He and some of his golfing buddies are planning a good trip. And, um, Excellent. you know, his son lives in Birmingham, so um, he's going to be traveling a little bit and Very seeing good. Hunter. But, no, this is going to be their home. His, his, his brother lives here. Dr. Meyer's brother lives here, and they love to play golf together. So I don't think they're going to go. Awesome. Right. I don't think they're going to go. They're going to be here. Yeah. Yeah, Very good. they love Mountain Home. That's so. excellent. Yeah. Well, the, I mean, we got a couple of minutes left. Gosh, we touched on so much stuff. I think we covered just about everything. Well, I just Let's, appreciate the opportunity to come visit with you guys. Yeah. It's always fun to see you guys, but you all know as much about ASU Mountain Home as I do. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, you know, you're... I went you're, there. Yeah, that's right. You're an alum. You know, yep. and you love it. And um, Scooter, you've... you've you're such a supporter of ASU Mountain Home and, and get, have given, us, I, have given I, us air time as long as I've known you, brother. I'm telling you. I'm, it's just I'm, the opportunities you give the kids, even just mm -hmm. outside of just regular school classes. And there's not one kid in high school right now that could not benefit with something going on there, no matter yeah. what their love or yeah. their passion is. 
you guys have something to fit them. I yep. agree. Where and they that, can make a career out of what they love. I, I agree. And, I, you know, as we grow, I hope that's what we'll focus on is whatever a student's path is, yeah. whether it's a technical program or whether it's the arts or graphic design or literature or history. There is, right You know, right now, we, do, we can help a student find their love. And yeah. as we grow our community, uh, our clubs and programming, um, with athletics and other things. We just want to find all those avenues and ways that students can love staying home and being here and have the support of their family around them, have the support of ASU, ASU Mountain Home staff around them and help them be successful, whatever whatever path they choose. Yeah, Excellent. for sure. That's awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. Well, thank you for coming on. Always a pleasure I'd to see you. I love it when y'all call and say, hey, can you be here? <laughs> yes. My answer is yes. Definitely. At seven. <laughs> Seven. So don't forget next week, July, uh, July 18th on Tuesday, 11 a.m. Yeah. to 2 p.m., uh, the reception for Dr. Robin Meyer's retirement. Go yeah. by and see him and say thank you. Yes, yeah. please do. Very please good. Do. Well, thank you for watching. We'll be back tomorrow. Y'all have a great day. Hopefully, we won't see no rain. Woo, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see.